I appreciate that I talk a lot about the SP series here on this channel, but after all, this channel is called SP Vids and that's mainly what it's about. I actually haven't done a dedicated video about SPs for quite a while now. I've had videos where it features, but I haven't done a video specifically about it. So in this video, this is on topic. This is about the 404 Mark II and I wanna show you 10 accessories which I think have been really useful over the years for transport, making beats, connecting with various devices. All of them have played some sort of important role, so I wanted to talk you through them today. Before I get into this one, don't forget about my shop, spvids.com. The links are in the description below. I sell beat packs and merch on there and they're the main thing that keep me funded making these videos. So if you could take a look at that and maybe pick up a beat pack, that would be really, really appreciated. I can keep making these videos, showing you things about SPs, about beat making and how to use various other hardware devices as well. Okay, so the first accessory I wanna talk about for this device is actually the SD card. Now, you don't really tend to think about this as an integral part of your workflow, but the SD card is so important for the SP, and in particular, the SX, and now the Mark II. Now, just some information about the card. You can actually have up to a one terabyte SD card on the SP404 Mark II now, which is an absolutely crazy amount of data. I'm still rocking the 32 gig, and that's been absolutely fine for me. I have heard that you can have problems updating the SP if you use a one terabyte card and in the documentation it actually advises to use a 32 gigabyte maximum card if you're doing updates but then I've had comments on my channel saying it doesn't make any difference and people have managed to update with the one terabyte card anyway so I don't know exactly the ins and outs of it but yeah this definitely goes down as my first very useful accessory the SD card so useful for getting beats off the device it's so useful for getting sounds onto it it's an absolute must that you have an SD card and have a decent sized one as well. Okay, the next thing is custom dials. Now, these are the DJ Tech Tools Fatty Knobs, and these are some of my favorite custom dials. They've got a really nice rubberized texture to them. They're really chunky, so they're easy to grip, and these are very, very good for live performance. If your hands get a little bit sweaty on stage, these have loads of grip on them, so I really, really like these. I've actually been meaning to order a full set of the same color for quite a long time. So ignore the colors here, it looks a bit terrible, and this green one here has been absolutely destroyed over the years. So yeah, definitely gonna get a full new set of these soon. And I had a question about the encoder dial one this week as well. That is exactly the same fitting as the ones up here, but as you can see, this one is just a little bit thinner. So again, this is DJ Tech Tools. You just have to select the encoder knob for this one. And yeah, you get a nice thinner one, which is good. It would be better without the white bit on it for this one because it's just a continuous thing, but it's still really, really good. Clicking it still works fine as well. So yeah, there's loads of different dials available on the market. To me, the DJ Tech Tools fatty knobs are the best. This isn't paid for or sponsored or anything like that. I've just always used these and I find them really, really good. This next one's pretty huge. This is a USB adapter for my phone. So it's lightning on one end because I've got an iPhone. That plugs into the bottom of my phone like that, and then I can plug USB into the bottom. What that enables me to do is not only record into the device from my SP404 Mark II via the USB cable, it also enables me to sample from my phone to the SP as well. So that's really, really useful and cool for making beats on the move or making beats in different locations. I can just take my phone, I can just take my SP404 Mark II and some other things which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. And I just connect those up with this USB connector and the USB cable into the back of the Mark II and you're good to go. On top of that, I also use this to record videos. So if you're recording a video with your phone and you want the audio from the SP404 Mark II, all you have to do is film a video with this plugged in and connected to the device via USB. And then the sound of the SP will be the audio for that video. It won't use the built-in microphones on your phone. And the same applies to any phone by the way you just need to get the right adapter and then you'll be able to use it in the same way so yeah this is an absolutely essential piece of kit and i use it so much pretty much on a daily or weekly basis to be doing things with my sp so yeah highly recommend getting one of these Related to that, the next one has to be my mobile phone. Now, this is a great accessory for the SP for the reasons I kind of explained in that last point. Recording to and recording from this device is just really, really easy via the USB cable. So basically in your pocket, you've got a full working portable recorder, a full portable device for sampling any sample you can think of if you've got a subscription to say Spotify or if you jump on YouTube and it's great for recording videos as well. So this has been a really, really big accessory for me over the years. You can look on my Instagram profile and see a lot of my reels where I'm performing beats they're usually filmed with this so I have to do a shout out to my phone it's one of my favorite accessories for the Mark II mainly because of that USB connectivity that I spoke about in the last point but yeah wanted to give this a mention because it's been absolutely amazing 
Now, again, on a similar topic, these three points are kind of all related, I guess, but the next one has to be the USB cable. So this is just the kind of standard USB cable. It's USB-C at one end, and then I think this is USB-A, if I remember rightly. When you think about a standard USB input, this is what you probably imagine, that's what's on this end. So that's what goes into the connection for my phone. I can demonstrate for you here. There you go, that goes in like that. And then if I can remember where I put my SP404 Mark II, ah, it's right here. On the back, you've got the USB port that just plugs into the back like that. And there we go, we're all hooked up to go to my phone. As well as that though, the USB cable is always plugged into my computer when I'm in the studio. So I've got a connection between the SP404 Mark II and my computer. That means I can record in and out of it really easily. If I'm making beats in Ableton, for example, it's really useful because it allows me to process samples through the SP404 Mark II. It also allows me to sample from my computer and it means I can use my SP404 Mark II as an audio interface as well. So this is kind of a really essential piece of kit and it transforms what you can do with the Mark II. Not only does it give you all the options to connect with your phone, it gives you all those options to connect with your computer as well and opens up a lot of doors. So yeah, all these three points have been kind of on the same topic, but the USB cable specifically on its own is one of my favorite accessories just because of the way it allows you to connect with other devices. Now, as we know, the SP series is renowned for kind of being a portable device. And the way that I power mine when I'm out and about is with a battery pack like this. It's a USB power bank. This is actually powering my fill light for this video. So it's plugged into something right now. I don't know an awful lot about the sort of specs of what works and what doesn't with the SP. I just had this lying around for years. And then when I got the Mark II, I just bought the USB cable and this worked perfectly with it. So you can usually return things on Amazon, places like that really easily these days. So if it doesn't work, you can always return it. But yeah, I think most power banks should work. This gives me an unbelievable amount of power for the Mark II. And one of the big downsides of the Mark II is that the batteries only give you about two hours playtime. Something like this is going to give you much longer than that. So yeah, this really does have to have quite a big shout out. Portable power, even if it's in my own house wanting to play with the SP in a different room, I always use this instead of plugging it in. Nice and easy. And yeah, if I want to go even further afield, obviously I did quite a few outdoor videos last year. This was always with me powering the SP. So yeah, definitely recommend getting a power bank if you're the kind of person that likes to go to different locations and make beats and perform beats. This is always how I power mine when I'm doing that. This one is slightly related to the last point about the power bank as well, because to get that power from that bank to my SP, I have this MyVault cable. This is really, really essential for powering myself on the move. It's USB at one end, which goes into my power bank, and then it actually goes into the power adapter on the back of the Mark II. I'll just demonstrate that for you so you get what I mean. So instead of powering it via the USB port, which some people do, I power it via the DC in, and that goes to my power bank. And that's because I like to keep the USB free for recording out to my phone and to a computer maybe. So that's why I went with my volts. So this connects up to my power bank and then the other end straight into DC, like I mentioned, that's how I power my device. So to be on the move, I always have to have this in my bag. This is how I get my power from my bank to the SP404 Mark II. So yeah, really essential and one of my favorite accessories. Next up are what are known as patch cables. Now these are little cables like this, which I think I mentioned in my previous video to this one. They're basically quarter inch jack at each end and they allow me to connect my SP with various other devices such as my analog heat, audio interfaces, things like that. So these are really, really useful for chaining devices together, which I like doing. If you wanna see an example of how I do chain devices together, definitely check out my previous video. It shows you a three device chain that I used for my latest EP that I released on SoundCloud. So these just go in the back. These can go into line in or line out. They're in the back of the SP like that. Then these can connect, like I mentioned, to another device. So we'll just grab one to show you. So there we go, got that hooked up to the analog heat. Now this is what I do if I wanted to use these in a chain. I've got the output of the analog heat go into the input of the SP. So maybe I'd be running a beat from Ableton into the analog heat, then that will get processed through the heat and then into the SP. So these patch cables are an essential part of my workflow. I'm sure you guys know if you use hardware that we're always kind of messing around with cables all the time. Uh, but yeah, the patch cables are really good. They're not too long, so they don't make a lot of mess and uh, they really get the job done. So again, another one of my favorite accessories for the SP. I've got a bunch of these and they come in really handy. 
Okay, I have to make a confession. For this one, I don't actually have the right one for the SP404 Mark II, but I do have one for the SX, so I can show you the SX one, and they make one for the Mark II as well, so you can go ahead and purchase that if you wanted to. And that is the deck saver. Now, hopefully you can actually see this on the device, but this is kind of polyurethane, I think it is. It's like a cover for your gear. Decksaver make these for all kinds of different devices, but they make them for the SX, like you can see here, and the A, it'll fit the A as well. And they also do one for the Mark II. So it literally just sits on top of your device like that. Really nice and simple, but it can stop it from getting covered in dust. It can prevent spillages going on it. It can prevent all the gear from landing on your device and damaging it. On the SX, I always have this on it when it's in the studio and not doing much, which to be honest is quite a lot these days. This doesn't really get much use. They do have one for the Mark II as well. I actually sold a few through my shop recently and I should have kept one for myself, but I decided to sell them all in the end. So really recommend this one. It's a really, really good accessory and it works nice and simply as well. And like I mentioned, yeah, for whatever gear you've got, Deck Saver most likely have something that goes over it to cover it like this. So definitely check out their website and see if they've got the right one for your pieces of gear. Okay, we're on to the final one, number 10. I feel like we've spoken about a lot of cool and different accessories in this one. And this last one is one which I wanted to feature because I kind of wanted to give the company a shout out. And I also quite like this little accessory as well. It is the soft case from Crema Cafe. Now, Crema Cafe have really helped me over the years behind the scenes. They've helped me with skins. They've provided me with products. They've helped me with my beat packs as well. So big shout out to everyone at Crema Cafe. This is a really cool little case. I love the design of it. It's just a soft case, so it's not something you'd want to use to stow a device in aeroplane storage or anything like that. This is really just kind of throwing it in the rucksack to go around to your friend's house or go to the park. It just gets the job done. It's got a little zip at the top like that, keeps the SP404 Mark II nice and cozy, and I'm sure this will probably work for the SX and A as well and other devices. Inside, it's got two compartments as well, so you can stash all your cables in one side and then the device in the other, and you don't risk scratching all the device with all the cables and things like that. So yeah, really just wanted to give Crema Cafe a shout out and say that this product is really nice as well. If you wanna go ahead and check out their accessories, they have quite a few accessories for the SPs. Just visit their website, I'll leave a link in the description. They have skins, stands, cases, all kinds of different things. So definitely go ahead and give them a visit.